Alright, so nandito na tayo sa next lesson natin or pangalawang lesson natin for the second grading period which is all about the um, reflection and refraction of light. Alam ko na ito ay, itong topic na ito is natakal na natin nung kayo grade date pa lamang po and then natakal natin yung ilan sa mga basics re related dito sa reflection and then refraction. No? At alam ko na familiar din na din kayo sa image na nakikita ninyo and then um, somehow uh, meron lang tayo mga deeper concepts related to the reflection and refraction at tutusin, hindi naman tayo nagmamadali kaya natin na simulan and then um, yung light, no? alam ko naman na familiar na kayo dito sa definition na ito but yung light, it is an electromagnetic ray that travels in a straight line no? and then um, ano yung pinagkaiba ng reflection at saka refraction of light? So, sa reflection muna tayo. Sa reflection of light, when light falls on a surface and is reflected um, back into the same medium or yung material, we say that reflection has taken place. Refraction of light, no? It refers when light travels from one medium to another. It bends from its original path or mas tinatawag natin na refraction. So, ito yung mga terms related to the refraction of light, just like yung incident ray, which, which falls is that the ray of light that falls on the reflecting surface. Reflected ray, it focuses on the ray of light that is sent back by the reflecting surface. Normal, um, it is the line at right angle to the reflecting surface to the point of incidence. Angle of incidence, it is the angle made by the incident ray and the normal. And then, angle of reflection, it is the angle made by the reflected ray and the normal. Next naman is yung object. It is the thing that forms an image on the screen. Next po is yung image. It is the reflection of the object on the screen. The virtual image is an image that cannot be obtained on a screen or a surface where image is formed. Real image is the image that is formed directly on the screen. And then, in loss of reflection of light, Angle of incidence is equals to the angle of reflection. And then the incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal to the mirror at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. The incident ray and the reflected ray lie on either side of the normal. These laws are true for all reflecting surfaces for place mirrors as well as curved mirrors. No, so, ayun po sila. So, next po. So, properties of image formed by a plane mirror. The image formed in a plane is, is mirror width, virtual and erect, the same size as of the object, the same distance from the mirror as the object is in front of it, and then laterally inverted. And then, in terms of spherical mirrors, meron tayong concave mirror at saka convex mirror. Ano yung pinagkaiba ng dalawang mirror na ito? Um, concave mirror, it has reflecting surface curve inwards and then convex mirror, it has reflecting surface curve outwards. And then, in spherical mirrors again, there are some important terms para dito just like your center of curvature, focus, principal axis, pole, focal length, and radius of curvature. And then, ito yung mga terms na ginagamit natin for spherical mirrors just like center of curvature, it is the center of sphere of which the mirror is a part. Radius of curvature or CP, it is the radius of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. Pole or yung P, ito yung center of the spherical mirror and then yung principal axis which is X dash Y. You know? It is the straight line passing through the center of curvature and the pole. And then, and po yung pinagkaiba ng concave mirror at convex mirror pagdating dun sa mga... Um, sa mga terms na ginamit natin, kung nasa yung center ng curvature, radius ng curvature, principal axis, yung pole, at saka yung hollow sphere. And then, um, in terms of focus and focal length of spherical mirrors, I'm sorry about this, mirrors, mirrors para nandito. Um, in terms of principal focus, fo the focus of concave mirror, it is a point, no? it is the point, no? Um, of the principal axis where all the rays parallel to the principal axis converge just like this. Ayan. And then the focus of the concave mirror, it is a point on the principal axis where the reflected rays appear to converge. So, ayan. And then your focal length of spherical mirrors, the distance between the pole and the principal focus is called the focal length of the spherical mirror. The radius of curvature is two times the focal length of any spherical mirrors. And then, if in a concave mirror, a ray of light parallel to the 
principal axis after reflection will pass through the the focus or appear to diverge from the focus in case of convex mirror and then the ray passing through the focus of a concave mirror after reflection will emerge parallel to the principal axis so um next po nandito na tayo sa formation ng different types ng images sa concave mirror we can place the object at six positions from the mirror just like yung at infinity beyond c and at c between c and f Next po is at F and then between F and P. Another note, yung P stands for the pole, F stands for the focus, C stands for the center of curvature. So, ayan po. And then at infinity, the image form is real and inverted. Dito tayo sa part na ito. Real and inverted, highly diminished point size and then formed at F. And then, um, so beyond C, the image point is really inverted between F and C and diminished. At C, the image point is really inverted at C, the same size as the object. So, ayun yung at C, at the center of curvature. And then, beyond center of the curvature, the image point is really inverted beyond C and it is magnified. At F, or yung focus, I think, yun nga tawag doon, focus nga. The image form is really inverted at infinity and highly magnified. And then yung beyond C, the image form is really inverted behind the mirror and then magnified. So, ayun. Position of the object, and then position of the image, size of the image, and then nature of the image. Dito natin makikita yung mismong differences ng mga positions nila. And then, actually, na ano ko na to, nasabi ko na to, kumbaga, ito lang yung table ng summary sa lahat ng mga um, nasabi ko dun sa previous slides natin. And then, next po, in terms of uses ng concave mirror, um, um, just like you shaving mirrors, torches, searchlights, and vehicle headlights used by dentists to get large image of patient's teeth and solar furnaces to concentrate here. Concentrate here pala yun. And then, written mo sa formation of different types of images by convex mirror, uh, meron tayong at infinity, beyond infinity, and pn, so and so forth. Makikita natin sa susunod slide. No? So, the, the image formed at the infinity is virtual and erect behind the mirror at focus and highly diminished. Well, dito naman sa beyond infinity and yung P or yung pole, beyond infinity and pole, the image form is virtual and erect behind the mirror between P and F and also they are diminished. In terms of using a, in terms of uses of convex mirrors, uh, vehicles as rear view mirrors to see traffic at the rear side and use a device to check depths in shops. So, ito yun, no? nakikita natin dito sa, dito muna tayo sa first, no? sa first picture. Um, kututusin yung vehicles are in the rear side of our um, sasakyan. Pero tayo mga salamin, di ba? And then, suddenly, mas malaki may tutulong nito, lalo na sa mga um, kung katabi man natin is yung ambulansya, no? And then, somehow, um, nakikita natin na kung bakit baliktad yung sulat ng ambulance, no? That because mas nakikita natin yung inverted at mas nakikita natin sa labas no, na inverted yung sulat ng ambulance and then somehow kapag something na merong emergency na sa kayong ambulansya hindi marita at nakita kagad natin yun makikita natin to in a real um, in a real sequence ng kanyang pag, ng kanyang sulat no, para mas nakikita natin at may tatabi kagad yung sasakyan natin para makada para makapag giveaway tayo sa mga um, mga maharurot na ambulansya dahil sa dinadala nila pasyente and then suddenly dito sa second picture um, lalo na sa mga convenience stores no minsan tabi-tabi kasi yung mga ano yung mga stalls or stalls or yung mga items nila doon and then somehow hindi naman nakikita ng ano yun ng mismong nagbabantay kaya meron silang convex mirror para makita nila yung um, yung mga ginagalaw mo and then somehow may naitatabi ka or may naibubulsa ka mga item na hindi mo gustong bayaran di ba so ayun yun so next po meron tayong new Cartesian sign convention object is placed left to the mirror and the pole is taken as the origin no so um distance to the right of origin or plus ve x axis is positive while in the left or ve axis x axis is positive while in the left or negative ve x axis is negative no? distances above the principal axis no? 
or your positive VE, Y axis are positive while distances below the principal axis or negative VE, Y axis are negative. So, ayan po siya. So, meron tayong mga mirror formula no, for spherical mirrors. No, kung baga, ipapakita ko lang yun sa inyo pero hindi ito yung literally na gagamitin natin. No? So, ito talaga. No, so, yung mirror formula na ginagamit natin is yung 1 divided by 1 over F is equals to 1 DO plus 1 DI. Yung F stands for the focal length. Yung D0 or DO, it is the object distance from the mirror or lens. And then yung DI, it is the image distance from the mirror or lens. And then we are using this in each sample problems later. And then, ayan na, yung, um, yung sa UV at saka F kanina. Pero hindi naman natin siya gagamitin sa susunod na sample problems. In terms of magnification, kasama to, kasama to. So, for virtual image, the M is positive. Or yung magnification is positive. And then, kung sa real image, the M or the magnification is negative. If M is M is greater than 1, is bigger than the object, and then if magnification is equal to 1, the image is of the same size as of the object, and then if the M is less than 1, the image is smaller than the object. If magnification is positive, then the image is virtual and erect. And then if M is negative, then the image is really an inverted. Parang binaligtad lang natin dito sa part na ito. So the image formed by a mirror may be smaller, same size, or bigger than the object. Whereas, M stands for the magnification, HI stands for the image height, then yung HO, ito yung um, object's height, um, and then DI, ito yung um, image distance from the mirror or lens, and then yung DO, it is the object's distance from the mirror or the lens. So, in terms of refraction of light, no, the, if, the phenomenon of bending of light when it travels from one medium to another is called as refraction. Ito yung law of refraction of light. The incident ray, the normal and the refracted ray all lie in the same plane. And then, your refracted, refractive index of a medium gives an indication of light bending ability of that medium, where N to 1 is the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to the medium 1. So, ito yung mismong refractive index na ginagamit natin um, katumbas ng kanyang material medium na ginagamit. In terms of refraction by spherical lens, ito yung convex lens at saka yung concave lens. Ito yung pinagkaiba ng, um, ng mga lenses nilang dalawa. And then, in terms of optical focus, no, principal axis and focus, ito na ngayon, no, sa optical focus, it is the center point of lens. And then your principal axis, it is the line passing through the optical center. And then your focus, it is the point where rays converge or appear after refraction in lenses. So, ayan, no, medyo mahaba lang yung topic natin. Um, pero ngayon lang to. So, yung rules for drawing ray diagram, dito sa, ano, dito sa next slide. Um, rules for drawing ray diagram a ray of light para parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus after refraction um, a ray of light passing through the focus becomes parallel to the principal axis after refraction and then a ray of light passing through the optical center goes straight without changing its path and then ayan yun no? ayan yun tumutukoy dyan yan then in terms of image formed by convex lens no between o and f no yung o ito yung object and then yung f ito yung focus the image formed is virtual and erect behind the object on the left side and then it's it is magnified between f and then 2f the image formed is real and inverted beyond 2f and then magnified so ayan po yun so ayan po yung summary ito yung table of summary ng image formed na natakal natin kanina so ayan So, meron tayong sign conventions for lenses. The sign conventions for lenses are same as those for spherical mirrors except all the distances are measured from the optical center. Distance to the right of origin or positive VE x-axis is positive while that to its negative left no, or negative VE x-axis is negative. Distances above the principal axis or positive VE y-axis are positive while those below it or negative VE y-axis are negative. And then, nandito na tayo sa sample problems, eight mirror lenses, or formula, and magnification. 
medyo mahaba to. So, meron lang tayong dalawang sample problem. And then, the 4 cm long, or the 4 cm tall light bulb is placed a distance of 45.7 cm for, from a concave mirror having a focal length of 15.2 cm. Determining the image distance and the image sizes. So, gagamitin natin ulit ang gresa. So, yung given, yung focal, yung, I think, focal length. Focal length is um, 15.2 cm. HO is 4 cm. And then, DO is 45.7 cm. Then, yung value ng focal length, the plus sign indicates that the focal point is real or the rays pass through the point. Yung hinahanap natin is yung DI at saka HI. Then, itong equation yung gagamitin natin. And then, magpa-focus muna tayo sa DI. No? Mamaya na sa magnification. And DI ba? O nga, DI. To determine the image distance, the mirror equation must be used. The following lines represent the solution to the image distance. Substitutions and algebraic steps are shown. So, in solutions, ayan, nilagay lang natin yung formula. Then, nireplace na na. Ang ginawa natin, yung 1DI, nilipat natin doon. Kung baga, nagkaroon tayo ng transposition ng mga um, ng mga variables dito. And then, yung 1F, nandito siya. And then, somehow, kapag nilipat natin yung positive dito sa kabila, magiging negative siya. And then, nireplace na natin yung mga given values dito sa bawat variables na given. So, 1 divided by 15.2 cm minus 1 um, divided by 45.7 cm. So, ayan na po. So, nagkaroon siya ng inverse centimeter cm negative 1. No? Ganyan na yung naging value niya. Once na na-divide natin yung, um, yung 1 dun sa mga given, um, sa given variables natin dito, which is yung f at saka yung do. So, ayan na po. I-susubtract natin. So, lumabas is 0.0439 cm inverse centimeter. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, kailangan natin itong palitan from CM1 into centimeter. Actually, may mga may mga ways, no? Kung paano siya i-convert ng maayos. Pero, ang ginawa ko, um, hindi ko alam kung appropriate kung ginawa ko. Ang ginawa ko kasi, kinalculate ko muna yung nanometers from wave number. Kasi, um, we must talking about the, the length, no? And then, suddenly, ang ginawa ko, kinonvert ko yung CM1, no, or yung inverse centimeter muna to NM or nanometer. And then, after ko makuha yung value ng nanometer niya, kinonvert ko ulit yung nanometer na yun into centimeter. Kaya, ang lumabas na sagot is 22.8 centimeter. Yun yung value ng kanyang DI. So, no? so, the numerical values in the solution above were rounded when written down, yet unrounded numbers are reused in all calculations. The final answer is rounded to the third significant digits. To determine the image height, the magnification equation is needed. Since three of the four quantities in the equation disregarding the magnification are known, the fourth quantity can be calculated. No? So, um, proceed na tayo dito. So, Dito na tayo sa magnification. Since ang hinahanap natin sa HI, ayan, ganyan yung gagawin natin. Ayan, HI divided by HO is equals to negative DI over DO. So, nireplace natin yung mga, yun, um, yung mga available na numbers dito sa given. So, yung HO at saka yung, um, yung DO at saka DI. So, ginawa ko, kinaros um, multiply ko pero hindi naman literal cross multiply ko baga nilipat ko lang talaga dito sa kabila no? or ginampin ko dito para maratain itong HI para makuha natin yung kanyang respective value so negative 4 cm multiplied by 22.8 cm divided by 45.7 cm ang nakuha kong sagot is negative 1.99 cm bakit po? so Yan nga, bukod sa yun ang lumabas. The negative values for image height indicate that the image is an inverted image. As is often in the case of physics, the negative or positive sign in front of the numerical value for the physical quantity represents information about direction. In the case of the image height, the negative value always indicates an inverted image. From the calculation of in this problem, it can be concluded that if a 4 cm tall object is placed 45.7 cm from a concave mirror having a focal length of 15.2 cm, then the image will be inverted 1.99 cm tall and located 22.8 
0.8 cm from the mirror. So, ayun po. Yun po yung sagot dito. So, nakuha na natin yung DI at nakuha na natin yung HI. Tapos na po. Tapos na po tayo sa sample problem number 1. Ito na po yung last sample problem natin. A 4 cm tall light bulb is placed at a distance of 8.3 cm from a concave mirror having a focal length of 15.2. Note, this is the same object as the same mirror only this time the object is placed closer to the mirror. Determine the image distance and the image size. Ito na yung given. No? Yung focal length natin is 15.2 cm, yung HO is 4 cm, and then yung DO is 8.3 cm. Ulit yun. And then yung required, ganun ulit. Then yung equation still is the same pa rin. Then ganun pa rin yung process na gagawin natin, yung solution. Um, ililipat, i magkaroon tayo ng transposition of the variables na naan dito sa formula. And then papalitan na natin yung mga given numbers dito sa bawat available Um, units natin and then somehow i-divide natin and then ganun ulit susubtract natin hanggang sa makuha na natin yung kanyang respective value na negative value and then we must calculating nanometers from wave numbers from um, inverse centimeter to n nanometer and nanometer to centimeter hanggang sa makuha natin yung final answer na negative 18.5 centimeter so ganun ulit So, to determine the image height, the magnification equation is needed. Since three of the four quantities in the equation, and then it is regard natin ulit ang magnification or yung m, no? So the fourth quantity can be calculated. So nandito na tayo sa susunod. So ay napo, kara place ganon na lahat natin gawe, and then ilipat natin yung mismo ng given na values yan. So ayan para makuha natin yung value ng HI pag nagkaroon lang tayo ng transpositions and then yung ating tamang sagot dito base sa calculation natin is 8.9 cm that because that the negative value for image distance indicated that the image is a virtual image located behind the mirror again a negative or positive sign in front of the numerical value of a physical quantity represents information about direction So note also that the image height is positive value, meaning an upright image. Any image that is upright and located behind the mirror is considered to be a virtual image. From the calculations in the second example problem, it can be concluded that, that it, it can be concluded that if a 4 cm tall object is placed 8.3 cm from a concave mirror having a focal length of 15.2 cm, then the image will be magnified upright 8.8 or 8.9 cm tall and located at the 18.5 cm behind the mirror. So, ayun po. So, actually, tapos na talaga yung lesson natin. Pero, nag-decide nag ako na gumawa ako ng bonus, uh, bonus topic dito sa lesson natin which is comparing human eye and then the camera. Ito na yung last, no? So, the human eye is the, is the wonderful instrument relying on refraction and lenses to form images. So, there are many similarities between the human eye and the camera, including the diaphragm to control the amount of light that gets through, the, gets through to the lens. Um, and then, um, this is the shutter in a camera and the pupil at the center of the iris in the human eye. Um, a lens to focus the light and create an image. The image is real and inverted. A method of sensing the image in a camera film is used to record the image. The eye, the image is focused on the, retin the retina and a system of rods and cones is the front end on, of an image processing system that converts the image to electrical impulses and sends the information along the optic nerve to brain. The way the eye focuses light is interesting because most of the refraction that takes place is not done by the by the lens itself, but by the aqueous humor, a liquid on top of the lens. Light is refracted when it comes into the eye by this liquid, refracted a little more by the lens, and then a bit more by the vitreous humor. It is a jelly-like substance that fills the space between the lens and the retina. And then, hi, the lens is critical in forming a sharp image. However, this is one of the most amazing features of the human eye that it can adjust so quickly when focusing objects at different distances. This process of adjustment is known as accommodation. So, ayun po, no? At sa so, sobrang haba ng lesson natin at dito na po nagtatapos yung lesson natin. And then, abang-abang na lang kayo sa susunod nating lessons or uploads. And then, um, 
uh, ano pa ba sasabihin ko kung may mga questions clarifications or concerns leave a comment below and then um, that's all for today kita kasi susunod na lesson and then goodbye